stories which explain the nature of uh, the Eucharist, what we celebrate here, and the nature of our lunch club when we share our meal together. The first story is uh, about a hunter on an expedition in Africa uh, who went to hunt uh, and managed to, to, uh, to, uh, to have two turkeys. So he attached the two turkeys to his belt and was walking back. On his way back, uh, somehow he felt as if being followed. It was a sense. And uh, in the midst of wild animals, obviously we can imagine how frightened he was. So he turned around with his uh, gun, but what he saw is a young uh, adolescent boy who was very hungry and followed him. He realized that the boy is hungry, though he didn't speak the language, so he, he got one of the turkeys and put it on the ground in the belief that the boy is going to pick it up. But nothing happened. The boy didn't want to, uh, to take the turkey. So he tried to desperately pointing at that, that's yours. But the boy didn't do anything, though he was very hungry. But the boy did one thing. He stretched out his hands as if reaching out for something or expecting something. And, uh, and uh, the hunter picked up the turkey and put it to the boy's hands. And then the boy received it and went with it happily away. There is, very, there is a very profound message in it. The boy didn't want to take something which didn't belong to him. He wanted to receive it, to be given, and he knows that it is his. What a great teaching about the Eucharist, what we celebrate, the gift that the Father gave his Son to us. What a great teaching it is to appreciate the gifts in our lives. The second story is similar in terms of the moral it offers. Uh, in the monastery, there are strict rules. The monks take a vow that uh, they live locally, they don't get married, and uh, they live in poverty. And part of this rule is that whenever a monk in the community wants to buy something or use something, he has to ask permission from the abbot or from the novice master. Even it can be the most trivial thing that he wants to use uh, uh, some, uh, some books, uh, some pens from the common storage, or even if he wants to buy a t-shirt or just a book. And one of the, one of the monks who uh, was a novice, uh, he wasn't happy about this. He was always uh, felt intimidated that, oh, in my age, uh, other, uh, other people don't have to ask permission. It's just a t-shirt, always going to the abbot, always asking um, uh, for permission. Eventually he left the community, but he remained a good friend of a fellow monk. And when the fellow monk visited him, uh, and just uh, opened one of his books for reading, uh, he discovered a word, a Latin word in it. Uh, the Latin words uh, said, ad usum, for use. Um, so he asked his friend that, why did you put into your uh, 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 books uh, this reminder that for use only, for use only, as if it had to be returned to someone. Um, 
and he explained that though his life changed since he left the monastery, but he never forgot the teaching of the novice master. Uh, he didn't agree at the time that you have to ask permission for everything, every single, on every single occasion, but now he realized that this is something to appreciate. His attitude changed. I came to realize that there is an important principle in the rule of the community in having to ask permission to buy or use something. Ultimately, none of us owns anything and nothing comes to us by right. Everything is a gift, including life itself. Everything should have to be asked for, and nothing should be taken as if it was ours by right. We should be grateful to God just for giving us a little space. So, what a powerful teaching it is to appreciate the gifts of life, that we don't take it, we don't violate uh, 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 God's word, we humbly stretch out our hands and request it as a gift, and we say thank you for all the gifts of life. Just as the monk says, even though I no longer belong to a religious order, and no longer have the vow of poverty, I still like to live by the principle that our novice master taught us. In the end, we don't really own anything. These books aren't really my own, even though I pay, I've paid for them. They are mine to use temporar temporarily. Nothing really belongs to anybody, and I try not to forget that. Dear brothers and sisters, this is the nature of the Eucharist, the communion, what we celebrate. God gives his Son freely to us. He offers his daily support freely as a gift. And if we receive it as a gift with thanksgiving, our whole attitude to life is, ch uh, is changing. Uh, we are lit up. Uh, we feel a very special and unique joy that actually we are embraced by God's providence on a daily basis. If only we could live in this spirit by reminding ourselves daily to this principle. In our world, in our society, uh, depression and purposelessness in life would drop significantly because it just gives us life to know that whatever we use, even if it is ours, it is actually a gift of God. So let us remember the outstretched hands of that boy in Africa receiving the turkey as a gift and let us remember the little label in the book of that previous monk, ad usum, for use only. Amen.